Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my most complimented perfumes. Uh, but first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Maite. I review fragrances and products. I love all things that smell good. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and click the little notification bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a new video. I upload every Monday and Wednesday at 4. If you are wearing fragrances for the sole purpose of getting compliments, I think you're gonna be a little bit disappointed. I feel like it's a very personal experience from when you spray it to how it develops. These are my fragrances that do have a lot of projection and sillage and you know, my coworkers have noticed. So, you know, it's not like I'm sitting here, you know, batting people away. because they can't resist how good I smell. It's just maybe, you know, my coworker would be like, oh, that one you're wearing smells good today. You know, something like that, very like in passing. So it's not a super huge, you know, deal, but, and that's not why I wear my perfumes. I wear them for me because I love them. So these particular ones though do have a lot of projection and see So if that's something that you're looking for, then maybe this video will be helpful. First up, Pavillon Rouge by Javoy Paris. Now, I just, let me get the negatives out of the way first. This bottle design is so uncomfortable for my, for my hands. I think if you have big hands maybe, but just the way I have to like spray it, I have to hold it like this and like spray it with my middle finger. Um, so it's not like the most, you know, user friendly for me. Um, and I think if you have even smaller hands than me, it's gonna be even more of an issue, but the juice inside is what matters. So um, this one is a boozy amber with like spices and some incense. It's stunning. It's very rich. It's potent. Um, I think the booziness only lasts maybe in the beginning and then it just becomes a very sweet, ambery, spiced mm, bomb. It's, it's very, very nice and it's very, very potent. The notes on Pavillon Rouge are spices, sesame, whiskey, rum, coffee, tobacco, tea, leather, vanilla, ebony wood, and benzoin. So where is, yeah, I think it's the leather that kind of gives it this smoky quality. Um, and yeah, lasts from the minute I put it on to the minute I take it off. And it's just very, very intoxicating. So, so alluring. And people have noticed, <laughs> which is the whole point of this video. People have noticed how amazing this is. So if you want to smell like a boozy ambery bomb then check out pavillon rouge you know i'm using kind of the women i work with a bunch of women uh, when i do go into the office which is only once a week at this point because you know covid <laughs> um they are more into like floral very floral fragrances so when i wear something very floral they notice so this one quelque fleur royale by hobegant is one that has gotten me compliments from them because it's a very floral heavy fragrance but it also has a amber rich warm vanilla base so it's not just like super heavy floral it is um rich it is sweet it is very very beautiful i think this would be really nice for like a wedding day set just because it's so pretty it's a very pretty fragrance the notes on Calcut Fleur Royale are Sicilian bergamot, grapefruit, white mimosa honey, Indian tuberose, Moroccan rose, Egyptian jasmine, sandalwood, amber, orris root, and white musk. So my favorite part of this is the base, the sandalwood and the amber um, and the orris root. It's, it's so, so, oh, there's no cap. The reason there's no cap <laughs> is because it's ugly. It's so ugly. It's just like, I'll put a picture somewhere. It's like a plastic big purple thing and I don't like it. But um, yeah, every time I wear it, I'm just like, oh yeah, I remember why I love this. Beautiful, beautiful floral. It's not too heavy. It's just makes, makes you smell very feminine and um, it smells expensive. It smells like, you know, confidence. It's so, so beautiful. And I love the um, kind of frosted embossed bottle as well. So that's Calca Fleur Royale by Hobagon. Next up, um, this one you have to be very, very careful of because 
you will suffocate if you spray too much. I would say two, three sprays max, not on your clothes. This is Mancera back to black. Now, not back to black, black to black, sorry. Map. It is a atomic bomb. It's like an explosion of rose and spices and oud and it's just extremely suffocating if you spray too much. Potent is not even the word. It's just nuclear, nuclear. It is a rose oud combination. It is more rose heavy and there is a lot of spices. The dry down is very, very nice on this. The opening, again, a little too suffocating for me. I don't reach for this one that often, um, but my coworkers have noticed um, because it has a lot of projection and sillage. So, you know, after that hour it took for it to dry down and me not suffocate, um, it does have a very pretty dry down that will maybe get you some attention. So the notes on black to black are bergamot, saffron, cloves, rose, jasmine, patchouli leaf, amber, leather, white musk, sandalwood, and oud. Very nice combination of rose oud. Just if you are sensitive <laughs> to fragrances, if you have a sensitive nose and you may want to stay away from this, but if you do want to just, you know, make your presence known with your perfume, then maybe Mancera Black to Black will be for you. All right, next up, you guys. Now, this is not just for men. I wear this one. I love it. Uh, my coworkers did say I smelled like a man, but that's because they just have a preconceived notion of what a men's and women's fragrance is supposed to be. So I'm trying to like cut that out. It's okay if you're a woman and you wear Chanel, Bleu de Chanel Parfum. It smells amazing. It's, oh everything it's everything especially the dry down um i this is my favorite of the bleu de chanel collection um because it has that very warm rich base um it's the same kind of citrus lavender kind of fruity top notes with i think there's pineapple in here but the base has um sandalwood and um amber and i think vetiver as well um I think the ISO E Super is what makes this kind of project the way it does. The notes on Bleu de Chanel Parfum are lemon, lavender, mint, artemisia, bergamot, geranium. Let me see what else. Uh, there's green notes, pineapple, cedarwood, sandalwood, amberwood, ISO E Super, and tonka bean. Uh, yeah, you guys, very sexy perfume on a man or a woman, especially um, if you are less into like very floral fragrances. If you're a woman, I would definitely check out uh, Bleu de Chanel Parfum. I love it. I really love this. I love from the very like bright citrusy dry um, opening to the warm, mm, yummy dry down, just very rich. Um, last all day long as well last from when you put it on to when you take it off it's very all of these are very long lasting and i think that's what makes them compliment getters so bleu de chanel parfum mm. next up and one of the prettiest bottles in my collection is zerjoff more than words i mean stunning it looks expensive it is a little bit expensive not the most expensive but it is you know pricey um, for what you get, but so beautiful. Just like, I don't know if you can tell the blue glass. Oh, it's beautiful. I just admire it every time I'm going to wear it. Um, the notes are sketchy. I can never find like a full list of notes, um, but to me, it's a fruity rose oud or floral fruity oud with um, spices and maybe patchouli. Um, it is earthy, it's rich, it's intoxicating, it's a monster, it is a monster. Um, it's a little bit spicy in the dry down, which I don't normally like, but it's not overly, it doesn't have like too much of that kind of 
peppery spice but it does have a little bit more so on my husband when he wears it not so much on me which is why i like it um but yes it projects like crazy um it, it, it's it's really beautiful you guys i don't have many from zerjoff i've smelled a few from zerjoff and i wasn't too impressed but this is a winner i'm gonna try to like decipher these uh notes this is from lucky scent sweet fruit uh smoky labdanum woods oud benzoin mm, what else frankincense yeah mm -hmm. i can definitely see that and that's it yeah i'm pretty sure um there's some rose in here uh not just like fruit i there's definitely rose in here i i i feel like there is so i don't know if you guys know the full kind of note breakdown let me know in the comments um but monster and definitely will get your compliments if you're around people who appreciate you know somebody smelling good you're gonna smell amazing this is Zerjoff more than words next up and my coworkers went crazy over this one i think because it's a very nostalgic scent it smells like christmas to me this one's rentless by lush i even had one of my coworkers say she wanted uh, me to find her a bottle um so definitely will please many noses i think because yeah it smells like christmas it smells like christmas in a bottle um this one the main notes are patchouli grapefruit and tonka definitely smells like there's spices in here it smells like a wreath like pine needles it's beautiful really beautiful lasts a long time great projection mm, yeah i really i love smelling it from the bottle i love wearing it um i probably love wearing this one more around the holidays because you know it fits it fits the theme so um if you love the smell of the holidays and just spices and um woods and patchouli it's a very patchouli heavy then check out lush rentless next up and i just want to say something really quickly because i have and i told you guys in one of my last videos decided to be more conscious where i spend my money so but a lot of my collection i've just bought you know without thinking where i'm buying from um and this is one of them but now that i know what i know um i won't be purchasing any more fragrances from this brand um not only has um somebody close to me had a bad experience also somebody in the fragrance community had a bad experience with them um as far as poor customer service i don't want to get too like preachy i'm not here to tell you what to do i'm just i feel like my job is to give you information so this is the information um the brand in my opinion does not have good customer service this is my one and only bottle from them which is a shame because the fragrance is amazing and um yeah that's just my two cents on that so with that said arabian oud calamat black gorgeous bottle um the plastic cap and uh kind of design here i wish was a little bit different but for the price which is a really they do have um very nice prices um i think you know it's a nice fragrance again unfortunate that the brand doesn't align with uh my beliefs but oh, it is delicious it smells like candy like oud candy it's sweet it's oh, just really really yummy just really yummy the notes on calamant black are olabinum basil vanilla agarwood which is oud and amber so delicious a delicious i would call it almost a gourmand like it's wants to be a gourmand but it's it smells expensive it smells rich and warm and it projects like crazy it lasts all day it's not super in your face um but you you don't need to overspray this um i think it'd be easy to overspray just because it comes off a little bit you know light but it's not it is a beast this is a um potent fragrance without being suffocating so 
I really am enjoying this one. Um, if you have any experiences with Arabian Oud, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you think about this brand. Um, I have a little bit of, of bad taste in my mouth after, you know, I've seen what I've seen, but I wanna leave this on a positive note. The fragrance is excellent. Um, the price is excellent, but unfortunately that happened and won't be purchasing from them again. But this is definitely one that would get you compliments. This is Calumet Black. Last, but certainly not least, which I feel like I always say, Coco Mademoiselle Eau de Parfum Intense. Intense. I do not like the original Coco Mademoiselle. Um, it's a little bit too floral and citrusy and um, yeah, it's just not, not my jam, but the intense version with amber and tonka and just amped up patchouli is way more my style. It is absolutely amazing. It's warm, it's addictive, it lasts all day, it projects. Um, it is a beautiful take on a floral. If you're not into super heavy florals, then I would definitely check out the intense version of Coco Mademoiselle. It has the signature Chanel DNA with that very powdery, almost cosmetic quality. It's, oh, I love it so much. And when I wear it, people love it. Like my husband always says, what are you wearing? Every time I put it on, you can smell it. It's very potent. Um, I do spray a lot. I'm a, I, I feel like I'm an oversprayer, but I'm not an oversprayer compared to like curly fragrance. <laughs> I will link her videos because her and her mother are fabulous. They have the most amazing spray routines. Um, and if you have not checked them out, then you definitely need to. It's very entertaining how they spray, like literally hundreds of sprays, like in their hair. I love it. I love it. If you are an oversprayer and you would like to watch another oversprayer, then definitely check her out. I will leave her channel link down below. And she's absolutely stunning as well, by the way. I just want to mention that. Gorgeous, gorgeous human being. The notes on Coco Mademoiselle are very similar to the original um, version, but the intense version um, has on top of like the citruses and the florals, um, I think the top notes are orange, bergamot, and um, lemon and then it has rose and jasmine and some fruity notes as well um, but they add or they amp up the patchouli and they add amber and tonka so if that sounds like more your speed that warm very you know rich base mm. very opulent very very opulent fragrance um, it smells very fancy I love wearing this one to the office. I would wear this one on a fancy date or a party, which we're not having any of because we're social distancing, but um, it is very nice. It makes me feel very feminine. It makes me feel like I am large and in charge. So I love this one. That is Coco Mademoiselle Intense by Chanel. All right, you guys, that's it. Those are my most complimented fragrances. Can't, I'm not gonna tell you how many compliments I got because literally maybe I'll, I've been complimented like once each time I've worn this fragrance, but they're the only fragrances that have ever garnered me any kind of, you know, attention. So most of the time, and to be 100% honest, nobody says anything about my fragrances <laughs> unless I ask like, hey, how does this smell? And I'll like put my arm in their face, but <laughs> so, if you love fragrances with a lot of projection and sillage that may possibly get you noticed by you know someone walking down the street which is highly unlikely then maybe check some of these out thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't done so already please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and click the little notification bell so you'll be notified anytime i upload a video i upload every monday and wednesday at four have a great one you guys Mwah.